Early Access provided by EA of Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Game Changers. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to walk you through completing Tumbleweed Terrace. So this is the first Sim Springs event for a sandy suburb. I already have a video on how to complete this event in full. This video is going to explain how to complete the first house lot, which is Tumbleweed Terrace. So it's going to show you all the daily tasks to complete for that one. So firstly you head to Sim Springs using the bus stop once you're at level 20. You'll then have a tutorial to complete and once you've completed the start the renovation plan task on the tutorial the timer will begin for day one. To see all the tutorial tasks check out my guide to Sim Springs Sandy Suburbs video. Once you complete this event you'll unlock the grand prize which contains the house template and also some other items as well. Check out my Tumbleweed Terrace house top video for information on the prizes available. You've also got extra zesty prizes which you earn by completing days in a certain amount of time. For this event we have two tops for male adult sims and one mystery key. I'll explain how the zesty prizes work when we get to that part of the video. The timer for this event is 10 days. You have 10 days to complete the tasks. The aim is to complete each day within 24 hours. There are deadline markers so if you don't manage to complete it within a certain amount of time you will have to pay to move on but again that's explained in the other video so let's start on day one's tasks now the tasks for day one are place three bookshelves at tumbleweed terrace check in with johnny zest consider sim springs potential using a couch and recycle 12 pizza boxes before we start on the tasks it's important to note that you can only complete these in sim springs some tasks say you can only complete them at Tumbleweed Terrace, so you must do it there. But if you're not sure, read the task carefully. It also tells you exactly how to complete it, whether you need to use a couch, a phone, a computer, etc. But see, we're at a different house lot here that's not in Sim Springs, and we can't complete the tasks here. So they must be completed in Sim Springs. So let's start with the first one. Let's check in with Johnny Zest. What we need to do is have a sim, click on Johnny and select the option check in. You can see the orange symbol there which is the sim spring symbol. This is so you know which tasks need to be completed to complete the daily tasks. It will pulse green when you're completing a task. You cannot complete any other task while one is underway unless it's a building task. So if it asks you for example in this one to buy free bookshelves then you can buy the free bookshelves while your sim is talking to Johnny, for example. But you can't have one sim talk to Johnny while the other sim recycles pizza boxes. It won't let you do that. You need to complete one task before you can move on to the next one. And let's complete the bookshelf task while we're checking in with Johnny. So I've placed one bookshelf, I just need to buy two more. It does take forever to scroll through the catalogue. I really hope they do improve that one day so we can actually find things a lot easier. When you complete a task you'll see this pop up and you've got the orange button in the corner there so you can easily access the overview. As this is the early access version I'm just going to speed through it with social points. Remember this is not my actual game, I will be completing it myself on my actual game without spending all these social points. So this is the next task, consider potential using a couch, that will take 6 hours. The last one for day one is recycle 12 pizza boxes. For any task that requires multiple sims, for example, we need to recycle 12 pizza boxes, you can bring up to 10 sims to this house like you would a normal house. I would definitely recommend having as many sims here as possible to complete this task so you don't waste any time. If you do decide to skip with social points, then it will clear up the mess. So don't worry, I think it's gonna leave it behind we've skipped the social points and it's removed the pizza boxes. So that's day one complete, you get a pop-up to tell you you've completed it and we earn 5,000 simoleons for completing day one. You can now wait to start day two or you can use social points to start it early. But there is a timer there so it says come back for day two's tasks in so many hours so you can wait that time or you can use social points to start straight away. Day two's tasks are spend 64,000 simoleons at Tumbleweed Terrace. Check in with Johnny Zest. 
do a happy dance using a stereo, find 12 old photographs, wash 6 dirty dishes. So let's check in with Johnny first. I'm just going to click on the items or the people that you need to interact with to complete these. I'm not going to click on each one of them and skip them like that because it will take forever. But again, with the wash 6 dirty dishes one, you can have six sims there at once to complete that. Or you can skip it straight away. The next task I'm going to show you is find 12 old photographs. So these are very similar to like seasonal quest tasks where you have to find items using a certain number of sims. In this case, you can use six sims to complete it at the same time. And if you quick complete, you will find extra. So let's start with this sim and I'll just show you quick completing it means using social points. So we're going to quick complete this and it says she's found four photographs while searching. Or you can just complete it normally and you'll probably find about one or two photographs. Probably two because you've got to find 12 and you're using six sims. They usually make it possible to complete in one go. Next up we need to do a happy dance. So this requires a stereo. I don't have one yet in this house so I'm just going to buy one quickly. Remember the higher the star rating an item is, the quicker it will be to complete it. But you can check out the post on my blog if you want to see how long it will take to complete using a 1, 2 or 3 star item for each of the tasks. And a mirror there as well because we're going to need that a bit later. So that's the happy dance one and the final one is spend 64,000 simoleons at Tumbleweed Terrace so that can only be completed in this house. This is a time that I would suggest you build rooms and basements and decorate your walls etc. I wouldn't do that sort of stuff when you don't have a task that requires spending simoleons because then you'll really struggle to actually spend all the money that you need to at that point. But it's definitely the time to build basements as they are very expensive. And that is day two complete. So we earn two lifestyle points for completing day two. Let's start day three now. Day three's tasks are place two beds at Tumbleweed Terrace, check in with Johnny Zest, assess the area from a tree and dispose of five trash bags. So I'll show you again, but I think you know how to check in with Johnny now. We can dispose of five trash bags at the same time using five sims. To save time, I'm just going to copy the bed we've already got in this house. So we've got two beds now. Otherwise it will take forever for me to find a bed. There we go. The next one, we need a tree to do. So let's buy a tree while we're here. The maple tree is a good one. That is a three star tree. That's the one I usually go for when I need to complete tasks. So let's quick complete the disposing of the trash. So I can show you the assess the area task. Which will take six hours using the tree. And then we can skip that one too and complete day three. You will earn two social points for completing day three. Let's start day four now. Day four's tasks are place six windows at Tumbleweed Terrace, check in with Johnny Zess, argue about renovation ideas on a phone, study SimCity on a computer, and brainstorm renovation ideas seven times from a dining room chair. Let's start off with buying a dining room chair. I usually go for this formal black one from one of the wedding events just because it's a three star chair. The first task requires us to place six windows at Tumbleweed Terrace. So if you were to store the windows that were currently there, you would then have to buy another one. So it now says that I need to place five windows out of six because I've stored one of them. When before it said I had two already in the house. So I'm just going to place these ones. This is not going to look anything like it would do if I was taking my time with this. I'm just rushing through it because I just want to show you all the tasks. 
rather than create a nice house. So let's check in with Johnny. Wherever he is. Sometimes he is quite difficult to find. There he is. And the next task was to argue about renovation ideas using a phone. So I've got my Freestar phone here. So that would take eight hours on a Freestar phone. Next is study SimCity using a computer. And then we have brainstorm renovation ideas. You need to do this seven times using seven sims. It's better if you use seven sims to complete it all at once, otherwise you will waste time doing it separately. You can see it's going to take a bit longer using the one star folded chair rather than the three star chair. I haven't skipped most of those tasks this time because I wanted to show you that it will cost you less social points if you click the skip all button than if you were to skip them individually. So that's something to keep in mind if you are going to use social points. That's day four complete and that earns us 8,000 simoleons. So let's get started on day five now. The tasks to complete on day five are check in with Johnny Sis, invest in Tumbleweed Terrace, have a moral panic about new ideas using a mirror, Eat 8 handfuls of comfort food using a fridge and find 24 suburban blueprints from household objects. Let's find Johnny to check in with him. This time when you click on Johnny you're going to see a few other options as well. So you've got the invest in tumbleweed terrace options that appear on Johnny. So these are very similar to sim chase, mastery events and also the pregnancy events which require you to complete appointments. One of them costs social points, which is quicker. And then there's one that costs simoleons and that takes longer. But if you've noticed the social point one is the same cost as it is to skip. So it would save you time if you just skipped it, if you're gonna use social points. So have a moral panic using a mirror. So I'm gonna click on this mirror here there's also the option to find the blueprints on the mirror. You can find the option for the blueprints on the mirror, the computer, dining room chairs, the couch, and in bookshelves, etc. So for the blueprint one, we can use eight sims to find the 24 blueprints. And again, you can quick complete it using social points to find more. So let's just skip that one and the final one is eat eight handfuls of comfort food from a fridge so again you can have eight sims complete this at the same time so you need eight fridges in tumbleweed terrace to complete this And that is day five complete. You will earn free RP for completing day five. Halfway through this event now, let's start on day six. The tasks to complete in day six are place two TVs at Tumbleweed Terrace, check in with Johnny Zest, take frustrated walk using a tree, and hype up Sim Springs using a tree. So this day seems fairly straightforward, really. So let's start with checking in with Johnny as usual. The next thing we're going to do is buy a TV. We've already got one in this house, so we just need to place another one. So for both of these, we need to click on a tree to get the option to complete them. They both only require one sim as well, so it's quite a straightforward day, like I said before. I don't really like the days that require multiple sims to find multiple items just involves too much counting for my brain. <laughs> Let's just skip all of these. And that's day six complete. So we have earned 10,000 simoleons and one social point for completing day six. On to day seven now. This is the final day before we reach the zest zone. The tasks to complete in day seven are spend 192,500 simoleons at Tumbleweed Terrace. Check in with Johnny Zest, 
complain about renovations using a phone, write development plan using a dining chair, and read tabloid about Johnny Ziss using the magazine. So again, let's start in by checking in with Johnny. Then we can complain about renovations using a phone. Let's write the development plan next using a dining room chair. And then read the tabloid about Johnny Ziss using a magazine. For the spending tasks, I don't know whether it varies depending on the level you're on. I'm assuming that if you're on a lower level than 55, you wouldn't have to spend so many simoleons to complete this because otherwise it would be impossible. You do have to be level 20 to complete this, but personally I think that's a bit low because you're still completing other things at that point. I would definitely recommend not starting this until you're at a stage where you have money to spend on it. Because this event isn't going anywhere, it will be available whenever you want to complete it in the future. So don't worry too much if you're not ready to start it yet. I'm just going to skip me spending all this money because it takes quite a long time and I want to get through this video, but you know how to complete that task, you just buy things until it says that you've completed it. So that task is now complete and this is a huge improvement on how it looked before. I mean it's still amazing, I've still done it quite quick. but. It looks a lot better. So let's just skip this final task and move on to the next day. So we have earned two LP and two social points for completing day seven. Now we're on to day eight, so let's start this. And this is where the zest zone begins for Tumbleweed Terrace. So this does vary depending on which house lot you're on, how many days it is, but for Tumbleweed Terrace it's three days. The game is to complete the next three days within 24 hours each. So you have to complete day 8 within 24 hours, day 9 within 24 hours and day 10 within 24 hours to get the extra zesty prize. If you don't manage to complete it in those time limits, don't worry too much, you just won't get the extra zesty prizes. So the tasks for day 8 are place two dining tables at Tumbleweed Terrace, check in with Johnny Zess, stew on the pass using a couch, Clean out old keepsakes using a wardrobe, ruminate about Johnny Ziss using a dining chair, and find 36 tiny llamas using 9 sims. So let's check in with Johnny first, and then next we can stew on the pass using a couch. On the couch we've also got the option to find the tiny llamas, as you can find those in household items. So again, you can use nine sims to complete this task and if you quit complete then you'll find the extra llamas. Let's use the dining chair next to ruminate about Zist. And then we can clean out old keepsakes using a wardrobe Oh, that's only a one star wardrobe, but let's buy a better one. There we go, that's much better. And finally, we need to buy another dining table. Because we've already got one in this house, so we're going to buy another one. Great, so let's just skip that wardrobe task. And that is day 8 complete. For completing day 8 we've earned 12,000 simoleons and one mystery key. Let's get started on day 9 now. Almost there. The tasks for day 9 are place 8 dining chairs at Tumbleweed Terrace. Check in with Johnny Zess. Apologise to friends using a phone. Be excited about future using a stereo. Celebrate Sim Springs using a stereo. Read Sim Springs history from a bookshelf and remember nine past mistakes using a mirror. 
and let's start with the stereo this time. So there are two tasks to complete using the stereo. One of them is be excited about the future and the other one is to celebrate Sin Springs. Let's check in with Johnny Zest next. Apologise to friends is the next task, so let's select that from a phone. And next we can remember past mistakes using a mirror. So again you can have 9 sims here to complete this task at the same time, but you will need 9 mirrors for that. Now we can read Sim Springs history using a bookshelf. While she's reading that book, we're going to complete the place eight dining chairs at Tumbleweed Terrace task. So we've already got six here. I'm just going to place two more. I'm going to move some outside. They look much better. Oh, she's sitting on the chair that I need. Oh well, <laughs> just place it next to it. And then let's just skip this one so we can move on to the final day. Because this video is long enough now. Great, so completing the ninth day earns us 4 LP, 2 social points and 1 mystery key. And it's time to get started on day 10, which is the final day. The tasks for day 10 are spend 256,500 at Tumbleweed Terrace, check in with Johnny Zest, have a sneaky sleep on a couch, get nine second opinions using a phone, update Johnny Zest on progress, and clear 45 sand bunnies using nine sims. So if we click on Johnny, we can see the two options to check in with him and update on progress. Let's click on the couch to have a sneaky sleep now. You can also see on the couch we've got the option to clear the sand bunnies. So again, you can use nine sims to clear the 45 sand bunnies. And remember, if you quick complete it, then you will earn more sand bunnies than if you just complete it normally. I said sand bunnies way too many times I think. So let's just skip that one, get that one out of the way. The next task is get second opinion using a phone. So nine sims will be able to complete this at the same time because you need to get nine second opinions. So you need to have nine phones in this house to complete that. And finally, we need to spend the 256,500 simoleons at Tumbleweed Terrace. Now this is where it gets difficult because you've already built all your basements and you're just trying to find more things to spend money on. It's the only time ever in the game where I've looked at the price tag and thought, yes, that's good. Let's buy that. It's really expensive. I'm not going to show you me spending all the money. I've just skipped to the end of that. And that completes that task. So we've just got the get second opinion task to complete. But before that I'll just show you how the house looks now. Obviously it's not actually complete but I don't really have time to complete it so this will have to do right now. And that completes day 10 which is the final day. We have earned 10,000 simoleons, 6 LP, 6 social points and 1 mystery key for completing day 10. 
We've also unlocked the grand prize, which is the house template and those other items too. Check out my house tour video to see that in more detail. And because we managed to complete day 8, 9 and 10 within 24 hours each, we have earned the extra zesty prizes as well. That is the first house lot in Sandy Suburbs complete. You can start the second one, which is Dusty Dwelling, straight away. Or you can wait seven days and then the timer will start automatically. So just to keep an eye on that so you know when it's going to begin if you're going to take a break. But that is another 10 day event and it works in a similar way. But the prizes and the tasks will be slightly different on that one. And also the house lot is different. So there you can see that you've got the timer to start it if you want to begin it now. Or you can wait the seven days before it begins automatically. That was my walkthrough of the Tumbleweed Terrace. Sin Springs event on the Sims Free Play. If you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims Free Play videos. I also have a blog, the GoGames.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims Free Play, including the Guide to Sim Springs Sandy Suburbs post. Thanks for watching. Bye!